Okay, so for today's session, we're going to look at how to import Lucid charts. So we have a very simple uh, Lucid chart that represents an AWS uh, infrastructure. Um, there are some predefined shapes um, representing AWS services, uh, CloudWatch EC2, the API Gateway, S3, and CloudTrail. Uh, there's also a SQL database um, from Azure. And we also have some non-predefined uh, uh, content uh, in the shape of a VPC, um, a MyDynamoDB. Um, we also have um, a, a couple of clients, a browser and an Android mobile device uh, operating in the Internet Trust Zone, uh, a private cloud and a private secured cloud. So um, how do we get these into Iris Risk um, by the API? So uh, much of this content is predefined, so we can map these by default, but certain objects such as the uh, the browser, the mobile device, the trust zones, the MyDynamoDB have no reference um, in the default mappings. These are uh, custom objects uh, or shapes. Um, so we need to generate a basic mapping file. So the basic mapping file allows us to in, uh, define our trust zones. It then maps the uh, components in the diagram by their uh, labels to the associated um, uh, iris risk uh, component and um, that's what we seed into the api so in order to import this particular diagram um, the lucid charts um, system we use an uh, export of vsdx format so um, you will need the uh, premium version of Lucid Chart to generate that, um, but that uh, generates a, a VSDX file uh, very similar to Visio. They're not exactly the same, which is why there are two uh, two sets of controls for them. Um, and then we uh, we basically import the diagram. So uh, this is one I did earlier. So let's delete that, and we will recreate that project from the exported VSTX file and the mapping file. So um, we're going to use Postman. So Postman is a, a commonly used uh, API uh, endpoint um, solution. Um, so uh, we have the uh, API call to create a Lucid chart um, and we're providing it with a source file in the shape of the VSTX file. We're giving it a name and a uh, reference ID and we're including our custom YAML file. And this is the mapping for our objects rather than the Iris Risk common uh, objects. Uh, the, the mapping is combined, so uh, the default uh, components that Iris Risk have uh, are pre-mapped pre um, and will already be included. So you don't have to map the uh, additional uh, components that you're using in your diagram or any differences. Um, if you were to use a square for an EC2, then, then you'd need to map that. Uh, uh, rather than use the default mapping. Okay, and it's simple enough. Um, we just send that uh, via the API. Um, we get confirmation that um, that has been uh, sent. And if we go to Iris Risk, then you'll start to see that we have a new project. Um, it's updating the model. And if we go into that and we go directly into the diagram, we'll actually see that the diagram rendered uh, much quicker than the actual threat model is created. We'll zoom out a little bit so we get to see what, exactly what that is. So here we have maybe a little too far to go back in here. So we have our two clients, an Android and a web browser uh, in the Internet Trust Zone. We have our AWS infrastructure in a public cloud and uh, our databases in a private secure cloud um, and a custom VPC. Each one of these are Iris Risk objects or components and have associated threat information with them. Uh, and if we select the uh, data flows and we look at the data flows, uh, the data flows themselves have been named in the same way as uh, those data flows uh, were described in the Lucid charts. So if we just have a quick look back at the use Lucid charts, app data comes from the API gateway into the SQL database uh, in Lucid charts, and exactly the same thing in Iris Risk Diagram. From there, um, should we de desire, we can update e either uh, endpoint. So we can update the Lucid charts with additional information, additional components, uh, and then re-import them uh, into the diagram using the uh, the get command. 
um, or the get, get API endpoint, uh, and that will uh, update the uh, the diagram so you can uh, feed any changes into your threat model uh, based on uh, maintaining your Lucidchart diagrams. Okay, and uh, that's uh, job done.